Oh god, I can feel- Oh, I can feel the spell hitting me. Oh god, I've got my heartbeat in my chest. Stop putting holes in me bloody ship! Oh, ah, god, I felt that! G'day, mates, and welcome to a haptic suit. This thing feels dumb, looks dumb, and is probably gonna be dumb, but I can't wait to play with it. This is what I've been waiting for for a while. I was super excited about the hard suit back when that was gonna be a thing. It's now not a thing, but anyway. I have with me today my foot trackers, my hip tracker, I've got me valve index, so I've got all sorts of normal trackers, but on top of that, I have this feedback suit. So, when I get shot or stabbed, things will go vibrating. Now, I would be having a face mask as well, but they said, hey, get the wide version for the valve index, and I hate to break it to you, this doesn't fit. So it doesn't work with my VR. So that's annoying, I hope I get my refund on that. I do, however, have these arm trackers as well. We're gonna turn this all on and see if it works is the main thing. The main issue is that a lot of games don't really work with it. However, if a game doesn't work with this, it has an audio to haptic system instead. So it will take sounds and translate them into feeling, into haptics. So in Onward or Pavlov, when I fire my gun, the right side of my body will go and shake. And that's pretty cool, and I want to give that a go, because this is awesome, I've always wanted to do it in VR. And boy, it's already hot wearing this. Let's go. Oh my god! Okay, so when I jump, and I bounce off of things, I get kinetic feedback. Oh my god, that is actually bloody awesome. Oh shit, I'm out of ammo. Oh, oh god, I can actually feel it! This is so horrible! Ah! Okay, I'm dead. Wow, you can just feel individual bullets hitting you. Okay, wall run time. Oh my god, I can feel the wall run when I actually do that. That's so bloody cool. Oh my god. This is significantly more intense and uncomfortable than you'd be- Oh, thinking- Oh god! Ah! It actually- Wow, that was a good shot. Hey, I see you. Come back here. Oh god! Nani? Fuck off. Oh, I need a minute. Oh my god. Oh. Reload gun, please. Oh, it is wildly uncomfortable. Alright, give me the sniper rifle. Really suck at my job! Oh! Oh god, that- No, I just tried to jump! <laughs> I just tried to jump- Holy fuck, no! Please! Please! I'm fine for my goddamn life! Oh, that was a good shot, actually. Oh shit! Wow, that was oh my god damn! Fuck! God, this is so wildly weird and uncomfortable, but kind of great. My adrenaline is through the roof. Come on, no, you can fuck off, mate. As can you. Oh. Oh. I forgot how good the sword was. There's a game called Chess Deathmatch? You know what I'm in. So fun fact and problem about this. Oh. What? What is this? Wow, I'm a good sniper apparently. Bloody hell. It just does all sound into a... Yeah, this is, this is not brilliant, I'll be real. Everything is just currently vibrating. Yeah, I've lost my gun, mate. Sorry, I'm gonna have to go get another one. Okay, bye. <laughs> G'day mates, we are now wearing the face mask as well. It doesn't fit well, I've sort of had to force it into the index. But I hope this works. Why did they make me like this? Look at my feet! You know what, I actually, I think that's the least of my problems right now. Ah, Todd, you got me again. I hope I can feel the rumble of the carriage in my haptic suit. I don't even normally get motion sick, this is just... Oh boy. Yep, okay, I'm gonna close my eyes real quick. What the shit? Excuse me? should we do? He's not on the list. By orders, Captain. Who the fuck are you talking to? Oh god, she's dead! Oh, thank god I actually have a save. Yes! Get me to Whiterun, please. Why am I a fucking werewolf? God, you're so beautiful. Let's go for a swim, because apparently that activates my physics. Oh! Oh, oh that is very cool! <laughs> so when I'm swimming around in the water, I get some haptic feedback in my chest. I don't know where my body's gone. Now I'm dripping. Help. Oh, that's really cool. 
So there's a bit of like haptic feedback when I pull and yeet. So if I hit something with the sword, then I'll uh, get a little bit of haptic feedback. Let's go fight some bandits, shall we? Do you get to the cloud very often? Never mind, we're fighting you. Greetings. Well, he's dead. Wait, is he fighting on our side? What? I've started the uprising. Oh god, I've got my heartbeat in my chest. Oh, this is horrifying, my haptic heartbeat. Okay. What the fuck is this now? Oh, it's a wolf. Oh, fuck off. Flames! Oh! Okay, flames feel great. Jesus! That's a blood dragon! I... I'm gonna die! Run away! Oh, God, I can feel... Oh, I can feel the spell hitting me. And the game crashed. Wouldn't be Skyrim, would it? What the fu- Huh? Huh? That's not normal. Whoa. Oh, that is cool as hell. Oh, God. Oh, okay, so when I get the healing, it goes around my body and, like, wraps up. What is wrong with my thumb? That missed. You're a shit shot, mate. Oh, you guys suck at this. Really? Okay, ow! Alright, I'm killing you. Oh god, I got shot in the back! You bastard! That is such a cool feeling, though. It's a shame Skyrim's combat is just awful, but anyway. I want you to shoot me in my face! Shoot me in my face. No, in my f Right here, right here. God, you suck at this. Oh, okay, I've just realized that's really cool. So, the Fusro Dark sort of comes up from my gut, and then out my head is, uh, is where the bloody vibrations end. That's pretty cool. Can I set myself on fire? No. Ooh, what, if I, what if I just drunk a bunch of things? Give me some frostbite venom. That's not what I wanted, actually. Yeah, sure. Does that make me feel any kind of way? Ooh, ooh it does. Ooh. Ooh, I can feel that in my gut. I enjoy eating. Sup? Oh god! Oh, I can feel it when he electrocutes me! Ah! Eat him, dog! Oh! Okay. Right, you feel it when you step on bear traps. Shoot me in my face! Oh god, I felt that! Okay. Oh! Okay, when it works, it feels really weird. Ah! Oh, god! Stop shooting me in my face! I no longer consent! Oh god, that's so weird! Ah! It's like a vibration in your forehead when you get shot. I imagine you don't really feel much when you get shot in the head in real life, but you know. Shoot me! Do it! Oh god! Come on! Oh, oh there we go! Ah! Feels great! Can I, uh... Nice. We're gonna give Blade and Sorcery one more go. What I've done is I've turned off all other noise, so it's just the sounds of impacts and effects. So when I do a little bit of this, I get vibrations all over, and that actually feels pretty good. They are still weirdly delayed, though. That's kind of odd. Okay, that produces haptic feedback. That is actually pretty good. You know what? That doesn't work too bad. Let's try this, shall we? Oh, God, that was like a lot of feedback there. Okay, let's try this. Oh. There's nothing like feeling the feeling of murdering another human being. God, how have I not been stopped by the police yet? Okay, that's the problem is when they hit each other, I get haptic feedback as well, which obviously is not how it should work. Oh, that's- oh, I really jabbed- Are you okay? That must have hurt some tendons. Why did you do a jig when I stabbed you? Wow, could you not? I'm trying to buy weapons! Really, you've got a bow. What are you gonna do? That's what I thought. God damn. Hey, you been drinking a little bit much, mate? All right, hang on, here we go. Here we go, let's go sober you up, all right? We're gonna go into the forever pit, all right? You'll get real sober down there, okay? You doing good? Yeah? All right, come on, just in you go, into the forever pit. Oh, then. And huh, no, oh, no, I suck at grabbing things. Oh, I'm in the forever pit now. 
there is nothing like a camera to make you feel more like an idiot. So, let's do a quick review of this stuff. Okay, so to run you through, the tactile is the head mask part, which I'll get to in a moment, because it's my least favourite. Uh, there is the tack toasty, which is the arm stuff, and then the tack tot, which is the best, and is the best part, and as far as I'm aware, is the only intentionally for market, uh, so for, for, what do you call it, um, for general purchase right now. The rest of this stuff is meant for developer kit. Um, now I am going to hopefully, in the next while, uh, I will look into how difficult it will be, but I'm going to attempt to get Blade and Sorcery natively working with these things. I might just have to hire someone who's much better at it than I and pay them to do it, but I will... I have in the past dabbled in these things called computers, so I'm going to see if I can do that. Um, because, oh man, if I could genuinely play Blade and Sorcery as good as, say, Rento is, and I'll get to that all in a moment, um, I don't think I would ever stop playing VR. This is brilliant fun. Overall, I have two conflicting opinions on it. The first is, I love this, and I love where VR is headed, and this is definitely what VR should be doing. There should be all sorts of, you know, real-life haptic feedback, sort of anything you can to get more immersed is, is great, brilliant. On the other hand, I have the problem of, I'm very much aware that that is not a good thing. Very few other sort of industries have to deal with the fact that everyone is using different kit, you know? Uh, in Windows and Mac and stuff, you know, you sort of got that problem where, oh, you know, something doesn't work on Mac or it doesn't work on Windows, but... That's not really a massive problem, because a lot of things work on both, and there's only two. You know, it's there's two things. Um, and so and they both have a rather big market share, so if you make it just for Mac or just for PC, it's fine. And, you know, if there's something that only works on Windows, there's probably an alternative that works on Mac um, that, you know, is, is better or just as good or, you know, whatever. You know, there's, there's always competitors. That is not true with VR games. Uh, there are certainly a few, you know, you've got sort of Pavlov and Onward, but those are the main two. There's Contractors as well, I know that's a popular shooter. I'm not as... I actually, I actually, no, in saying that, I did like Contractors when I played it. I just prefer Pavlov and Onward. And, but that is the sort of, the, the big three, you know, those are the competing there, and none of them work with this. VR is always going to have this issue where people are on different headsets, with different controllers, with different accessories, with the full body has the same problem, you know, whether you have full body or not. And... It's often not worth it for developers to invest in certain things. So, you know, developers investing in making haptic feedback, well, there's about 10 people with haptic feedback and I'm one of them. Uh, so, why would they waste the time? That sort of thing, you know? It is sad, but I think it will come down a lot to modders, basically. The Skyrim mod was very good. I was expecting it to just be damage and I would shake. But it wasn't. It was actually, if I got shot in the back, it would go, oh, I was shot in the back. Well, shit, okay. And I was, I was having so much fun spinning around to face an archer who shot me in the back. And, you know, when I got healed, it sort of wrapped its way around my body. When the first regard came up through my chest and out of my, uh, my bloody face, um, you know, the arms, when I was pulling a bow or I was fighting my sword, was quite well. Say Rento is by far and away the best implementation of it, um, in that when I got shot in the gut, I got actually hit there. I went, oh god, I felt that bullet, you know, you felt the bullet. When I got shot in the head, it was, you know, it sort of gave me a weird... <laughs> didn't really feel as good as the gut shots in the terms of it, it felt weirder, but it didn't feel as specific. I guess obviously because it's just uh, a few motors, the tactile is less motors than the, than the whole vest. And you can do a lot more with this. For instance, when you do a sword slash, you can have it go v v v v v down across my chest so I can tell that someone's cut me across. Um, and that stuff. This, I highly recommend. I highly recommend the tactile. Uh, we'll go into the individual review stuff. So this is just, if you get just the best, it is pricey, but my god, it's fun. And this is even fun with audio to haptic feedback. Before we go on to the individual pieces, let's address the actual difference between native and the audio to haptics. So the problem with native right now is there's Barely any games that work for it. Sayrento is the standout. There's Thrill of the Fight as well, which I noticed is pretty good. It's a boxing game, so obviously it works well for you getting hit or you blocking shots. I think my controls are beeping. But overall, most games don't work with this. Then there's audio to haptic feedback. It's not very good. It's, it's pretty rubbish. The main use of audio to haptic feedback is to kind of act like a subwoofer, really. You can try and do it like left or right, so you can use surround sound to make it so that you only get vibrations when it's coming from a certain direction. So if it's coming from your left, you only get your vibrations on the left, which makes it better, but it's still not great. Because at the end of the day, if I'm playing onward and someone else shoots their gun and goes bang, 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 I'm also getting the feedback. I'm going, oh, why am I vibrating sort of thing. It, it doesn't 
feel brilliant. It's better than nothing, but it's not worth your money, is, is the thing. So if you like, say, Rento, or if you're going to work with, say, Skyrim, Skyrim was very good fun. Skyrim was very immersive with it. Um, you know, if you're going to, if more games are added to it, I would highly recommend this. If you're just playing Pavlov or something, you know, it's a nice extra, but don't buy it just for that. Don't, uh, don't buy it just for Pavlov, don't buy it just for Onward. Uh, but it's also kind of worked pretty okay with this, because it was only when I turned off the music and stuff, obviously. Now, there is a lot of detailed control of the audio and haptic feedback. Maybe my presets just weren't that great, but you can sort of control, you know, oh, this frequency of sound won't cause a reaction. So, you know, you can make the music not cause a reaction, but gunshots cause a v -v 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 in your body. And definitely shooting a gun and bang, 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 and feeling it shake your body is quite cool. That's a very nice addition to the game. Blade and Sorcery was pretty alright, because once I turned off the sort of sound, uh, the background sound and the ambient stuff, it was purely when a sword strike would happen, so, you know, strike, strike, and then I get a feedback, and it would be left or right sort of focused. Um, and that's good, but obviously that was only when, because it, it was just fighting me. The generally, sword strikes would only happen when I was getting attacked, so it felt more natural. Overall, it's a very, very cool kit. I adore VR. I always want to be on the forefront of VR, because technology is fucking awesome, and it's great. To go through the individual pieces, though, there are feet pieces, hand pieces, arm pieces, chest pieces, face pieces, and I think that's the lot. I did not get the feet pieces because it looked like basically nothing works with it. Um, and I also, wow, uh, I don't have, I have money, I don't have that much money to waste on feet rubbing, alright? If I want to go that, I'm going to go down to the massage parlor. Uh, Tactot, this is the only, as I said earlier, I think commercially sort of meant product. It is very good, it's the best product. It tracks pretty well. Um, as in that when you're moving around the room, it doesn't really lose uh, tracking too often. It's got the most motors, and it's got a good feel, and it fits pretty well. It's easy to pull on, just whack, bang, go, and it's comfortable. It's actually pretty damn comfortable. These, not so much. It feels like I'm constantly getting my blood taken, and you need to pull them tight, otherwise they start to shake down your arm. However, they are the second best, I would say. These are pretty damn cool. They are... I would not recommend them if you're sort of on the cheaper side, but shooting a gun and feeling your arms go is great. And especially in Sorrento or in Skyrim when I was shooting magic and my arm was vibrating and I was fighting off and this arm was shaking. Pretty bloody cool. And I... Wow, that is, that is something else, jeez. They're good, but, um, you know, it's sort of one of those things where if you've got money to splash, that is where the money to splash would go. This is the essential great thing. And the tactile is not good. <laughs> okay. So it was cool to get vibration on my head. However, several things. One, it doesn't really, I can sort of show you, fit my headset at all. As you can see, it's a Velcroed on face mask, which doesn't really fit. And I've emailed the company saying, is it meant to be fitting this bad? Did I get the wrong version or something? Because there's a wide and there's a narrow version. Um, yeah, I, it just, it's just not very good. <laughs> It doesn't fit very well in the first place. Uh, either you have it overlaying a bit, and any sort of light getting in around your vision in VR really ruins the VR effect. So the problem here was my nose was much further back, which is already kind of a problem with the index. So whenever there was light on the ground, I was taken out of the VR effect completely because I could just see this bright light coming up through my nose, which was not great. However, onto the actual vibration side of it, uh, it seems to only have vibration in the top part, which is cool for getting headshot, but that's about it. And I don't think the Skyrim mod really used it, although it said it did, I didn't notice it going off when I was playing Skyrim. And probably one of the reasons I didn't notice it going off was because of this. So they all run off of Bluetooth. Here's the big problem is, it's not the best connection. I have had them drop out occasionally. They drop back in quite quick. But this was consistently dropping out. Every time I turned my head slightly, gone. I just, I lost tracking. Uh, I lost connection, rather, so it would stop vibrating. So when I was doing those shoot-me-in-the-head scenes, I was facing straight on towards my Bluetooth, because if I turned my head slightly, I'd lose tracking. So for something that's going to lose tracking all the time, it's not the best, and honestly, it's not comfortable. The, the normal face masks are much more comfortable. It's the least comfortable, least vibrate not very working well with my headset, least connective piece. So I would not recommend the tactile. I would recommend the arm pieces, they were quite fun. Obviously a bit of a splash, and this is great. I think that about sums it up. I didn't really think I was gonna do a full review of this at the start when I was working on this stuff, but honestly, this is very cool. I love VR, I hope this company succeeds because I was originally super excited for the hard light suit, and rip hard light suit, 
One day we might get the Tesla suit, but that thing basically sounds like fantasy. If you don't know about the Tesla suit, it claims it's going to have air conditioning and it's a full suit. It's going to be tracked and you'll have fuck haptic feedback and everything. And <sighs> Yeah, okay. I'm an old cynic now. Yeah, I don't believe that shit no more. Yeah, don't tell me. Back in my day, our virtual was a virtual boy. And it gave you tinnitus and vicious motion sickness. Anyway... Boy, I am sweaty underneath this. Ugh. Pretty damn cool, eh? Hey, isn't that pretty cool? I used to dream of this as a kid. Now I can play with it in my room, alone, with no friends. Bye.